Welcome, welcome, the Angry Appliance Repair Person. For the record, you're looking at them. This presentation is going to be about ranges. Now, as we can see, the customer has a pot on a stove and she comes over and she says, what is that noise? Now, the noise that we are talking about here is a hum. Induction cooking is getting very popular. Lots and lots of people that don't have the capability of having gas and they must have electric are buying induction. Induction has come down in price. Induction used to be very expensive, but these manufacturers are coming out with cheaper ways of getting induction to work. There are a lot of things with induction that people sometimes don't realize. I will go into other things about induction in other presentations or my partner that does the buyer's guide who of course is not me he has sunglasses i don't wear sunglasses so he will go into more about when you buy one what to look for but this particular presentation is going to be about the noise so people buy induction because it is coming down in price what they don't realize is i buy this induction top because i want my burners to be fast 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 but my cookware is not expensive cookware my cookware is just simple cookware now as i have discussed in other presentations sometimes when something says it can be done when it's advertised that way doesn't necessarily mean it's the best cookware is very important to induction you can buy cheaper induction cookware absolutely and it will say right on the box safe for induction tops wonderful you bring it home you take it out of the package, put it on your stove in your house, and then you turn it on. And after about a couple minutes, you hear this, I do my best, mm, coming from the burner, and you're thinking, but that can't be right. It shouldn't be making that noise. What is that noise? So you grab the pot and you pull the pot off of the burner, and of course on induction, when you do that, it shuts off. You pull the pot off and the noise stops. You put the pot back on, and then after possibly a few seconds, maybe a minute, again, mm, and you're thinking, what is that noise? The noise is the reaction between that pot and the induction burner. My playing with this has been that the thicker the cookware is, which obviously the more expensive it is, the thicker metal that it is, the less likely the noise will happen. The, the noise is just a that, a noise that comes from that pot being on that burner. That pot isn't a very thick pot. It doesn't mean it won't work. It actually doesn't mean it won't hurt the burner either. None of that, just it's there. It's one of those noises that it's there. The thicker the pot is, the more material it's made of, the less likely you will get that noise. When I would go on service calls for this all the time, I would basically have a cast iron pan with me. Now, cast iron is not really recommended for smooth tops because it can scratch. But just for tests, I would put some water in the cast iron and put it on the burner just to show the customer that it is not the stove. The cast iron is so thick that the noise normally does not happen with cast iron. It's just to prove that it is not the stove, it is the cookware. Certain cookwares, with what they're made of, usually it is the thickness, but not always. It can be safe for induction, but it has a almost like a vibration reaction when it's on the top. So it'll work fine. It will not harm it. But you have this new induction top, whether it's a cooktop or a range, doesn't matter. And you buy new cookware right on the box. It says safe for induction. And you put it on and you get a noise. There's nothing wrong with the burner. And there's nothing wrong with the stove. It is just that cookware is doing that. If it bothers you enough, then well, you'd have to buy new cookware, something that is of a thicker gauge, obviously more expensive, that it would not make that noise. But my opinion on the subject, as well as the information that I have gathered from companies and have seen for myself, is it doesn't hurt the product. It is just a noise that is created from that pot. You try another pot or carefully put a piece of cast iron frying pan that you might have somewhere make sure it's flat on the bottom and you put it on there just to try it and you see that it doesn't make that noise anymore 
because the cast iron is thick enough that it doesn't vibrate and make that noise. Not going to break, nothing wrong. Just please keep that in mind. That has been a big issue because induction is getting so popular. Now, the senile thought each week is going to cover something that I try to teach technicians if I am training them. When you are a service person, yes, it's a 50-50 split in my opinion. 50% needs to be, you've got to be knowledgeable of the product. But the other 50% is, you have to be able to deal with the customer in their house. It is their house. It is their castle. So, I do my best to keep professional and personal separate. The customer may not do that. I could give you stories upon stories upon stories of me standing there while the customer is saying, I am so distraught, little Jimmy fell off his bike. And I'm thinking in my head, I really don't care little Jimmy fell off his bike. But I listen because even though I'm a service person, I'm in your house, you're having a bad day, everybody has bad days. We all get angry at times like I do. So I understand you want to vent, I will listen. I'm on your dollar anyway, so if you want me to listen, I'll listen. But it should not be the other way around. You should keep your opinions to yourself. Do not try to start an argument with the customer on something that has nothing to do with the appliance. Uh, this one is just an example. One of the big ones that I would always do is around election time at any given election. You would say, she would say to you, well, I think candidate A is the one we should have. And you think, well, no, 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 wait a minute. I think candidate B, that is not good. Don't do that. Just listen and then say, uh, my famous phrase was, I understand. I would always say just, yes, yes, I understand. And I would change subjects and move on to the appliance because that's what I'm there for. But don't waste the customer's time in telling them something personal or a personal opinion. She can waste your time because you're on the clock. You do not want to waste her time. So keep the personal, personal, the professional, professional. Do not try to mix the two. Be polite with using words like I understand or I apologize that that happened to you. Yes, be a human, but keep your own opinions and your own problems to yourself. Do not go into a discussion about something that has nothing to do with the appliance. That person may not want to call you back. And as always, we thank you for spending some of your day with us.